Welcome back to Afternoon Live. It's a classic dessert that never goes out of style. Here to prepare her Pucker Perfect Lemon Bars, we welcome back cooking instructor Bonnie Ward-Strauss. Great to see oh, you. Good to see you. Look at your lemon earrings. Oh. Let's do it. Cute. Yes. <laughs> well, I know that it's not quite feeling like spring, but I thought this could help us feel We're like gonna will there it. is the hope. We are going to manifest spring. Yes, in our mouths. It'll be like spring. There we go. So I don't know if you want to wear this because what sure. we're going to do, it's really simple. This is just flour, sugar, and there's a stick of butter. And this is for a half a recipe. I like how that sounds. So, And all you do is just take your, your little handheld mixer. Okay. And you put that in there and just kind of even it out. Sure. And then we're going to press it. Okay. So first even it out. And you don't have to go up to the side, just make it completely even. Okay. And if you have a glass pan, which I thought I had two, but I had one, turns out. And um, then if you want to get it really, that looks you that looks it? perfect. Okay. You know, and you can use a glass oh, or you can you just go. use the palm of your hand. So I'll let you do the other half. Okay. And then you have your oven set at 350. You put it in there. Set your timer for 12 minutes because you only want it to get this dark. Oh, okay. I see. So it's like shortbread, you know. She's still blonde. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, like Ted Lasso, okay. those yeah. biscuits that they eat. Yeah, short, that's a good shortbread. Reference. And okay. that's, that's what this is like. So that's all that you want to just check it that it doesn't get. This is even maybe, I, I could have caught it a little sooner than that, where it's just a teeny tiny okay. bit. Okay, barely golden a hint there. of golden. Okay. Barely, and with glass you can tell. Okay, so that goes in, 350, 12. Just keep checking it, and when it looks like this, then we take it now out. Now we're talking, okay. And then we're going to, well, I'll set it over here, and then we're going to mix the filling, which is really Ooh, easy. Ooh, okay. So... Do you want to put it, this is sugar, sugar and flour and the recipes on the website. Okay. So a little bit of flour. Just a for tiny a bit of flour. Okay. Yeah. So in the regular recipe, it's a fourth of a cup. So whisk okay. that together. Okay. This is, and this is looking easy. Isn't or is it? This, is this deceptive then, or is it really this easy? No. There's not very many it's ingredients really, here. I know it. These okay. nice, wonderful, old fashioned I recipes. I like that. That's two eggs. Two eggs, okay. And lemon juice from two lemons. Okay. And then just get it nice and smooth. And if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend it. Okay. And you would think that you would put your your fruit in this way, but you don't. See, thank you for telling me that because the first time somebody handed me one of those on live television, I put it in upside down and my friends here made fun of me, but how would you know? Well, that's what I did the first <laughs> time I saw it too. So anyway, these are just wonderful. Yeah. And also, if you want to make it really tart and have people pucker up, yes. which I love the pucker, you can zest it. And, oh, and so okay. if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend it. Okay. Have you used a rasp before? Um, a little bit, a little bit. And I'll show you. And one thing, when you're, when you're zesting something, you want to keep moving the fruit because you don't want the white bitter pith. Right. You want to just do one? Okay. Are you, were you just going in one direction or is that yeah, just? Yeah, just, just, yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay, and then hit is your that enough or more? Yeah, that's, that's probably good. enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay, can so you, highly recommend If you don't have this. fresh lemons on hand, can you use the bottled stuff or should you just skip it? Skip it. Okay, Bonnie says Make skip brownies it. or something. See, I like that. You're a solutions kind of gal. <laughs> Go for chocolate no, if you can't. No lemons have chocolate If you're going to do this, make it, make it the good stuff. Perfect. Okay. okay. All right. And so that's all mixed together. And then we're just going to pour it on top of this back into your 350 oven. And this is for about 20 minutes. So okay. the way I am, I check it in about 16 minutes. Sure. And what you want to test for is that when you touch it, that it feels like it's somewhat set on the inside. Uh -huh. As it cools, it's going to get harder. Oh, okay. So don't let it develop that thin little shell, crispy piece. You want it to still have brown. a little bit of give. But it, but if you do develop that, if you have left it in just a little bit too long, that's okay. And you can, um, you're going to put powdered sugar on it Ooh. while it's still warm. Okay. And see those over there? Look at They have these. the powdered sugar, so you can pick one Am that's speaking to you. Am I going to have a bite you. of this? Well, I even brought you one. a fork. Look at this fancy and little dish we have here. Because I know that you're just so 
dignified. I am. I, thank you for saying that. Again, people just don't believe me around here, Bonnie. Okay. No, I know you are. <laughs> what What is it that you used a fork for the other day? I've never seen anybody use a fork. I was just so impressed. <laughs> but anyway, mm. when you put your powdered sugar, pat it in so that it'll stay. And then let it cool completely. Wet a knife with hot water. Okay. And, and then slice it. That'll make it much easier. And then they just pop out of the pan. This so you don't even butter your pan. It's just the butter that's in the crust. You don't even butter your pan? No, all the butter that's in the crust is going to help okay. it just pop out. This is delightful. Is it okay? So bright. I like the crunch on the bottom. And then you've got the ooey gooey lemony goodness in the middle. And a little powdered sugar on top. Never hurt anybody. Good. And then if you wanted to put some strawberries, like mm -hmm. just one to decorate it. But I don't, mm. I don't think mm. it needs it. I don't think so either. Do you make this ahead ever, or does it have to kind of be in the moment? No, you can make it ahead, and okay. you can freeze it. And on the, on the website, I have the recipe, and it says, um, keep it in the refrigerator since there are eggs in the right. mixture. You do want to keep them in the refrigerator up to seven days. Mm. And if you need them for longer than seven days, which they don't usually last that long, yeah, but no. you can freeze them. I love it. So Pucker Perfect is the best way to describe oh, that. Oh, good, good. Great to see you. Thank you so good much. To see that you. was so fun. We'll have more information and the recipe on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.